Hi, everyone. Okay, so this is going to go over the elements of drama. Um, something that's important to keep in mind when we discuss the elements of drama is that it's not just something that's applied necessarily to a play, um, even though that is the area we would apply it most, um, for example, like to a Shakespeare play, um, maybe to Hamilton or um, I Love You, Evan Hansen, something like that. Um, so keep in mind when it comes to a drama that's a film, the film is still a drama. And remember that drama is its own genre, so it's not horror, okay? So even though the elements will still apply to like a horror film, this is geared mostly to a drama genre, okay? So there is, it's basically, it's something that is performed, okay? So for example, the film Kinky Boots, um, or the play, uh, oh my gosh, what's it called? Taming of the Shrew, sorry, I couldn't think about it. Uh, the movie version of that is The 10 Things I Hate About You. Um, so when it comes to these dramas, you have to remember that it is something that is performed with a lot of emotion, okay? Um, they're portraying and personalizing and personifying a lot of emotions, okay? So it's just extra, I, I guess we could say. Um, the, sorry, I'm just reading my notes. The characters in a, in a drama are not just the people that we see on screen or people, they're also the camera, the setting, the music, okay? So you have to think of those, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the term, um, inanimate items or objects as characters as well. There's a reason for that song, for that moment that that song plays, or for that moment of the song to be playing in the background. Um, okay, so everything is chosen specifically for a reason. So your first element of drama is going to be your theme, okay? So the theme is basically its central idea. Um, you can find all of this drama uh, document that is in your files. Um, okay, so it's either stated through the dialogue or the action, or it can be inferred, okay? So for example, the theme of Kinky Boots is going to be about change. Um, it's the message that it gives to the audience who is watching or maybe who is reading, depending on which way we're going with the drama, okay? Um, your second theme is going to be plot. Much like elements of fiction and elements of nonfiction, there's always a plot, there's always something. Um, okay, so it is the points, the rising action, falling action, uh, climax. Um, okay, so it's all of that, the whole plot, what is happening. Um, it's the story that the play is narrating. It's the struggle, if there is a struggle, because in both the play, Taming of the Shrew, and in the film, Kinky Boots, there is a struggle. So identify that. Um, Next comes characters, okay? So you'll notice just like with elements of fiction, characters are kind of lower on the list. It's not, it's not the number one thing. However, you still need it to have your story. You can't have a story if you don't have people acting it out. Um, so the characters all have their own backstory, all have their own motives as to what they're doing. Are they a villain? Are they the protagonist, antagonist? What are they? How do they... Um, execute their role? Do they do it well? Okay. And then of course the dialogue, even though the dialogue is one of those inanimate, ab bleh, inanimate objects, um, it has a role. There's a reason for word choice. Okay. Um, it's narrated to audiences to understand um, and it's narrated to the majority of audiences. Okay. Now dialogue is sometimes where those ratings come in, like PG, PG-13, things like that, um, even though that also kind of goes with like many other things now. Um, the play or the drama cannot propel forward without dialogue, okay? So much like it can't propel forward without characters, it can't go anywhere without dialogue. If they're not interacting, if they're not talking, if they're not doing something, the play will stay stagnant. Um, Okay, so the words used, their accent tone, uh, their pattern of speech, the pauses in their speech, 
say a lot about the character as a person and their social status or their past or their family. Okay, so we notice that in Kinky Boots, when we have Lola Simon, okay, when she's Lola, she's very colorful and expressive with her, her language. But when she's Simon, she's a little more reserved, um, almost unsure of herself. Okay, so that's just something to be aware of. Um, next comes setting. Okay, where is it placed? The time period that it's placed in. Does everything fit to that time period or are there things that are out of character for the time period? Um, and then of course the performance. Are they doing a good job performing what they're supposed to be doing? Um, I'm gonna move on from that one. Uh, the last two are music and visual elements. Okay, so music plays a huge role in the elements of drama. Um, for example, uh, Kinky Boots. Um, this is a man's world. It's ironic that it's Lola kind of singing it, even though she's really just like the main focus during that song being played, um, because she does not identify as a man. She identifies as a woman, as a transvestite. Um, so that's very important to that part of it, but it's also important to recognize that she realizes that at that time period, in that place, in that setting, men run the show women don't really get to say much, okay? And then we see that later down the line towards the end of the film when Charlie kind of freaks out at her because he finds out that Nicola is cheating. Um, anyway, uh, there's also the end of the film when they're on the catwalk. These boots are made for walk-in. Um, I can't think of some of the other ones. Uh, when they're first making the very first pair of burgundy boots, the song, uh, I can't remember the name of the song, but it's like, he came into my life and now he's taking over. Okay, so that's basically not to happen. Um, I can't, obviously there's no music in Taming of the Shrew. There is a film version of the play by the same name on Amazon. I don't know how much it costs, but uh, you can also watch the modern day version of it, 10 Things I Hate About You. Um, but I can't remember any of the music from it. So that stinks. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the visual elements. So what that means is how does the camera play a role? Okay, so if we're panning in, if we're panning out, okay, if something is fuzzy in the background, which means that we see something um, in the foreground on purpose, what are we looking at? Why is it important that we're looking at it at this moment? Is there music playing in the background as we're seeing this item? Okay, so these are things that we should pay attention to when we're going into write this reader's response on a drama, whether it's Taming of the Shrew or uh, Kingy Boots. Okay, so those are your elements of drama. Uh, again, this is available under your files. Um, you can also add in costumes as part of the visual effect and makeup, um, gestures, body language, that would be all part of dialogue, okay? Um, how does the lighting and the sound effect play into this? Um, so when you go to write your reader's response for this particular piece, for this particular drama, uh, how can you put in to your reader's response that the characters and dialogue made the play or that you wish maybe there was a different character to portray somebody or that you wish that they did this with this character or that this one said this instead of that, something like that. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there's a transcript for Kinky Boots online. Um, I haven't been able to find a free version of it. So that stinks. Um, same thing with Taming the Shrew, but obviously you can get a transcript of it since it's a play. Um, I think that's about all I got. Hopefully this is helpful uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.